It's been a while since we last met, and a lot has happened since then. Most notably, the most anticipated week of golf in the year, the Masters at Augusta. America's Patrick Reed broke into the major winner's circle by clinching the Masters title with a one-shot lead. Donning the prestigious green jacket, it was a proud moment for the 27-year-old who welcomed his second child in December last year. Congratulations, Reed. Earlier that week, Reed's compatriot Tony Fennell also had a proud moment. After making a hole-in-one during the par 3 contest, the 28-year-old jumped for joy and celebration. But the American slipped, dislocated his ankle, then went ahead to pop it right back. Despite that ankle injury, Fennell finished the week with a top 10 result and secured a 2019 Masters invite. Leading the Asian Tour contingent at Augusta was Kiradek Apibanrat, who brought the entire family along. Joining them was Am's longtime friend, Arya Jutanugan. Thailand's first ever major winner donned the traditional white jumpsuit together with Kiradek's wife and sister to caddy for Am during the par 3 contest. Another familiar face who played at the Masters was Satoshi Kodaira. The Japanese finished tied 28th and received a sponsor exemption to play in PGA Tour's RBC Heritage Tournament. The 28-year-old defeated Korea's Siwoo Kim in a sudden death playoff to win his maiden PGA Tour title together with a two-year exemption and an opportunity to play full-time on the PGA Tour. Now it's time to get fitter, champ. It's me. The final leg of the Panasonic Swing concluded at the Ibaraki Country Club in Japan, where four-time Asian Tour champion Shiv Kapoor became the inaugural winner and claimed the first prize of seventy thousand US dollars. Obviously, I had probably one of my best seasons of my life, uh, winning three times last year, and luckily for me, you know, one of those wins and a second place came in those five events. So things seemed to fall into place, but you know, it's always hard when. You're playing in you know five different countries, five different conditions, weather, grasses, all of that. So to be able to come out and win something like that was obviously a, a fantastic feeling. Chiefs compatriot Rahil Gangji finished second to claim fifty thousand US dollars, and Thailand's Ratanon Wanasrichan pocketed thirty thousand US dollars in third. Congrats, guys! Rahil Ganji was a very sudden challenger in the Panasonic Swing, who jumped into second spot from nowhere. That's because the 39-year-old won the Panasonic Japan Open by one shot. Having waited for 14 years and numerous runner-up finishes, the Indian finally claimed the second victory on the Asian Tour. Congrats, Rahil. Last week, the Asian Tour headed to the capital of the People's Republic of China, Beijing. The Volvo China Open was played at the Beijing Top Win Golf and Country Club, where Sweden's Alexander Björk went bogey free in a 7 under par 65 in his final round to win his first European Tour title. It's never a nice feeling to miss the cut at the tournament, but Japan's Hideto Tanihara didn't seem to mind it last week. Oh, that's right. That's because the 39-year-old made a hole-in-one at the par 3 16th to drive home a brand new Volvo XC90. Meanwhile, all Matt Wallace got at the tee was a slithery scare. A snake. Oh, that was a bit of excitement on the way to the tee. And this is how all the action affected the Habitat for Humanity standings. It's Shubanka Sharma still holding a firm lead at the top of the leaderboard. Our Habitat for Humanity leader joins us today after his maiden appearance at Augusta. Hi Shubanka, welcome to where it's at. Hi Jamie, thanks for having me. Tell us what your thoughts were when you received the invite to the Masters. You know, I was, I was very, very happy. Uh, I remember when I got the call, it was, I think, two days before the Indian Open and uh, I was with my friends. It meant a lot to me. We all celebrated that night. What stood out the most that week for you? I think uh, the best part about that week was just the fans. The crowds are so nice. 
I remember making bogeys on a few holes and they were still clapping and cheering for me, uh, which, was, which was very, very nice. And uh, it was definitely something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. What would it mean for you to win the Order of Merit? It would mean the world to me. Uh, Asia is, is my home. It's, it's where uh, everything kick-started for me. And uh, to be leading the Order of Merit means a lot. I'm really looking forward to the next few events that I play. And I really want to stay at the top and finish, finish there at the end of the year. Thanks for your time today, Shubanka. Good luck for the rest of the season. My pleasure. Cheers. The 37th GS Caltech's Make Young Open Golf Championship tees off this week. Don't forget to catch your favorite stars go head to head to find victory at the Nam Seoul Country Club in Korea. That's all for me from now. See you soon.